In question 11 of this exercise, the problem statement says, if Meena gives an interest of rupees 45 for one year at 9% rate per annum, what is the sum she has borrowed? So this question basically means that on an unknown principal amount that Meena has borrowed, she pays an interest of rupees 45 in one year. And we are also told that the rate of interest is 9% per annum. Using this information, we have to find the sum or the principal amount that Meena has borrowed. Okay, so I will show you two slightly different approaches of solving this problem. In the first approach, we will use the unitary method. Let's see how the unitary method can be applied to this problem. So we are given that the rate of interest that applies here is 9% per annum. And this means that on a principal amount of 100 rupees, the interest amount after one year will be how much? If the rate of interest is 9% per annum, the interest on rupees 100 will be rupees 9 per annum. Correct? So on 100 rupees, the interest will be rupees 9 per annum. So the way we can express this observation is that an interest rate of rupees 9 per annum per year corresponds to uh, a principal amount, a sum of rupees 100. Now I, I, I will apply the unitary method to this observation. So what we have observed is that interest amount of rupees 9 in a year corresponds to a sum or a principal amount of rupees 100. And this means that if the interest amount is rupees 45 in a year, so if the interest amount is rupees 45 in one year, this will correspond to a principal amount of rupees. Uh, how much will this be? So we will take 100 divided by 9 and multiplied by 45. So this will be rupees 100 divided by rupees 9 into rupees 45. So this is how we can calculate the principal for the interest amount of rupees 45 in one year. So 45 by 9 is 5 and 100 into 5 is 500. So this will give us rupees 500. And therefore, we conclude that the sum that Meena has borrow, borrowed is rupees 500. Okay, now for our second approach, we will use an equation approach. We will set up an equation in the unknown, which is the principal amount. So let's see how to do this. Let's start by assuming that the principal amount is some variable, let's say rupees P. Now we know that the formula to calculate simple interest is principal into rate of interest into time by 100. So we will plug in the values uh, into this formula that we have. So we have the interest rate as rupees 45. So actually let me not write the rupee symbol so that the equation is concise. So interest is rupees 45. The principal is what we have to find out. The rate of interest is 9% per annum. Time period is one year. And then we divide this by 100. So from this equation, we can now calculate the value of P. So P will be, to calculate P, we take 100 to the left hand side, multiply this by 45, and then we divide that product by 9. So we will get 45 into 100 divided by 9. And how much is this? 45 by 9 is 5 and 5 into 100 is 500. So we get the value of P as 500. So once again, we conclude from here that the sum, the principal amount that Meena has borrowed is rupees 500. All right. So that's the answer to this question. The sum borrowed is rupees 500. And this completes question number 11. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.